Oh, I made his... <laughs> two things going on. Okay, I think Susan is done. That's Susie. Uh, she's in St. Augustine, but they're getting ready to leave for the United Kingdom tomorrow morning. So, no, I didn't make it to St. Augustine. I am in Oxford Ranch, Atlanta, Texas, and I've just been chilling. Just relaxing these past couple days. It's uh, 90 degrees right now. It's a nice little breeze blowing. I'm enjoying it. Boy, I don't know what I'm going to do come Friday. Because they are predicting 70s rain. <laughs> Yeah, I'll freeze to death. Well, thank you, George Ann. Yeah, this is the one I got from. Uh, I'll think of his name. I want to say Dexter, but that's not right. <laughs> Anyways, Sonia with Jay, welcome aboard. And Nancy Drew is here. Of course, she's here early because we're going to do her ticket here in a minute. Um, <laughs> because she guessed. The other night that they featured channel supporter whatever person anyway she guessed correctly that it was Jill and I think Jill is here as well um <clears throat> Renee is here welcome aboard happy Tuesday to you too <laughs> we're having a fun time adult Content may offend viewer audiences. If so, go watch YouTube Kids. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brene. I probably should put that in a disclaimer. Instead, I got sleeping with Dana. I I have that on every one of my <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness. Uh oh, my sister just let me find out what the world's going on. I've been trying to get a hold of my sister because I got some things. Okay, she's just saying keep her posted. But, you know, I want to get rid of the Ford and the do Dodge in the yard up there. Oh. Now I don't know what she said. doesn't matter. Got your back, peeps. Yes, you do. That's right, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Some people, they seem to think we got to have tacos on Tuesday. Well, wait a minute. It might work. <laughs> I mean, I like tacos. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for? Nothing. This. Okay, she wanted to know where the titles were, so I think I know where one of them is. Chances are both trucks have their titles in the glove compartment. I don't know, are you talking Megavan Mike? Is that which Mike you're talking about? Do you have any hardy, hardy, hard boys? <laughs> That's good. <coughs> so the other day, you know, I had I wrote stuff down on a on a stick because I didn't have my my notebook with me, which I normally do. So I was when we were on what was it Saturday night? I was writing stuff down on a stick. Okay, now I'm here. And here are the sticks. One. Two. 
and three. There's nothing written on any of them. It's getting to be a sticky situation. Ask Jill about that too. <laughs> Kyle's here. Thank God. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Did you get Ringo cleaned up from his bath? <laughs> Ringo took a bath in the slushy, yucky mud at the landfill. Yeah, he's such a good boy. <laughs> Your hands are on it. Yeah, that's because it's sticky. <laughs> or it will be. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Tina was here at like 1 o'clock. I don't know if she's back yet or not. She might be. And Susie might be coming in. Don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Ringo loves riding on the boat. I've been on the boat with him when we've been out in Camp Lake doing the sonar thing. Oh, good. That's good to know, Kyle. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. While I'm doing Nancy's ticket here, you got to keep these girls entertained. <laughs> They're already intrigued. <laughs> I think the thumbnail might have been clickbait today. <laughs> All right. This is a 50 times power blitz, $5 Texas scratch off. We'll see what Nancy's going to win. Let's hope she wins something. Something. You have your hands and meat. I'm <laughs> listening. Oh, Jill, you're hilarious. All right. The winning, first winning number is a 41. Let's see what Brene, or not Brene, what Nancy's number is. It's a 29. Okay, the next winning number. Yeah, I know you were, Brene, but you got to remember it's a titillating Tuesday. <laughs> okay, 5, 8, oh, 3. All right, next is 21, and you got 23. It's the truth. I know it's the truth, Jill. But you're good with me. <laughs> I think. <laughs> assumptions. Assumptions, assumptions. Okay, you had 40 and you drew 47. Next, we can go through this pretty fast. You got 28. There is no 28. Next is 19. Nope. 56, no, you got 58. Okay, 59. Once again, you've got 58. I'm getting stung by something. There's a few extra flies around here because uh, surprisingly, there are cattle on the ranch here. When I was here in the, in the late fall, it was actually December. Um, in fact, I was here for New Year's. Um, there was evidence of cows, but old evidence, and never saw any. Now, I mean, they're in the camp twice a day at least. <laughs> Hard boys, Nancy Drew. <laughs> oh boy, you know they say a hard man is good to find. Okay, you got fourteen. 22, 37, yep, none of these are matching, 32, nope, 16, no, 43, no, 48, no, five more to go. <laughs> Where is that music coming from? I never heard that one before. I've heard the song Detachable Penis. <laughs> I've never heard the one 
what you're talking about. Well, of course, there is that, that bluegrass one. I know you're going to ask me. Frank and Joe always took my credit. I call them the Hardly Boys. <laughs> Don't forget about Chet Morton, their chubby friend. When I was a kid, we used to do this over the couch, end of the couch like a puppet. Chet Morton. Chet Morton. <laughs> we were, you know, learning to read. <laughs> Okay, you got 49. Well, I tell you what, hitting all around 18, 34, not close, 27. Okay, the last one, seven. No, nope, none of these, none of these are matching. But we still got the 25, 50, and 100 uh, bonus thing. Dr. Demento, it might be. I am, he's done some wild stuff. Supposed to be, he wore a hat. <laughs> Steve is here. My hat kind of resembles yours, Steve. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, the bluegrass song. I'm sure Sonia's heard it. Oh, let me be your salty dog, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Hey, it's a real song. The power spot for $25 is, I have no idea. Okay, I think you have to have matching symbols. You have an ATM card and you have a check. What does it say on the back? Yeah, you gotta have two matching symbols. So you didn't get the $25. <laughs> Bernay, you might be. I think that goes without saying, Bernay. We love you. Yeah, the attacks on your right. That's what I've been told. <laughs> I'm going to be hanging out here for a few more days at least. There's uh, there's Nancy. I want to I want to check in on her. Uh, I did see her from a distance a few days ago, but I don't have a horn in my truck. <laughs> So she didn't know I was driving by. Uh, and then uh, the man who gave me this hat <laughs> starts with a D. I want to I want to see him probably maybe tomorrow, but chances are Thursday or Friday. <laughs> More than usual. Uh -huh. All right. Power shot for 50 bucks. Your first symbol is a dollar sign. And your next is a crown. So you didn't win 50 bucks. Diane, welcome. I'm all bored. Thought I was. No, that was something else. Never mind. <laughs> Wrong thought. Welcome aboard. <laughs> we're, we're a little bit crazy tonight. If you didn't couldn't tell by the thumbnail, <laughs> but it is Tuesday, so we're allowed. We're definitely definitely allowed on Tuesdays to let our hair down a little bit, or a lot of bit. <laughs> okay, for a hundred dollars, your first symbol is the vault. So the combination and a handle on it. 
The next symbol is a star. Texas might be great, but how come they don't sell winning tickets? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nancy. Doggone, I was really hoping you were going to win something. It's always much more fun when somebody wins something. But as William Brody, Brody, Brody would say, you're still a winner. And I think so, too. Sore. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of issues walking. <laughs> that was a big fly. It just buzzed me. The other, the other creatures that are out here are butterflies, lizards, ants. We're talking red ants. I've watched them. They're not anywhere near my campsite. Um, the little lizards are hilarious. I was sun tanning. <laughs> One of them ran right over my legs. Basically woke me up quick. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, P-52 bombers. Especially if you're anywhere near where there's cattle. And I kind of noticed that. That's true. Wherever you go, where there's cattle, you're going to have flies or other livestock. Uh, Joe's house there in, in uh, Parker. Well, between his house and the Colorado River, there's a, a, gosh, it looks to me like it's a petting zoo. They got everything down there. They got cattle, including longhorns. They got goats. They got sheep. They got ducks. They got chickens. They got I don't know what all they got. A menagerie. But I tell you what, those flies seem to make it up to Joe's house, too. Yeah, eight weeks, you got a ways to go, Diane. It's only been, what, a week that you've been home now? <laughs> yeah, but I imagine you're counting the days. And if it is getting better, that's good. Just don't overdo it. Uh-oh, winds is coming up. So we'll use our sticky situation to hold stuff down. Last night and the day before, the wind was incredible. So much so that I did a video of it last night. Called it ASMR, Texas Spring Breezes. It was more like next thing to a tornado. <laughs> it was howling. It definitely was howling. And it did that constantly for two days. And now this morning I woke up and like, what happened? Where's the wind? <laughs> and it's been pretty still most of the day. There's just a real gentle breeze. Why is Texas called the Lone Star State? Because you can't leave a zero star ring. Why? <laughs> Can't leave an O star. O star, O star. I'm lost. <laughs> Everybody else likes it. <laughs> I won't get it, Kyle. Is that a zero star rating? You can't leave a zero star rating. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's a good one, though. That's cute. Lone Star. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what. Even their restrooms along the highway are five star. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Uh, so my plans, well, tomorrow we got the Wednesday night scratch offs, you know, fun with words. And um, we're still on the letter P. So, whatever you think, Paul. <laughs> um, will I be broadcasting from here? I don't know. Signal's good. I just might. I do have to go into town for a few supplies including tickets for tomorrow night's show. 
Uh, but I might just come back here. It's nice and peaceful. And what am I looking at? I'm on this computer, I'm looking at all five bars. On the phone, I'm looking at five bars. You can't you can't complain about that. Now the phone is about to go empty. The, the one thing, eh, I may spoil myself Thursday if I'm if I am ac actually still here, which I think I will be. I may spoil myself and get an electric site for one night. You got drug tested to make sure you're taking. Is that true? I never heard of that before. They don't trust you, do they, Diane? <laughs> when you said you were quitting drugs, you meant it. <laughs> now they gotta test you for drugs to make sure you're taking them. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's true, Nancy. That's true. Oxycodone. Oh, we got to be careful with that. Wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Rush Limbaugh. He got addicted to that stuff. And I've heard of other people becoming severely addicted to that and trying to get it on the street and getting imitation stuff that kills them. Something like that. You know, don't go there, Diane. Please don't get addicted to that shit. I didn't even know they would still prescribe it. Um, lock your doors. <laughs> All these birds and creatures around here, amazing. Oh, Jax, is, he comes to see me a couple times a day, begging. He's a camp host. <laughs> I was worried about him when I first pulled into camp the other night. What was that, Sunday night? And he'd, I couldn't find him. He, usually, he'd normally, he'd be outside. Well, finally, I found out later on that he didn't want to be outside because to the south, they were practicing with their shotguns. It is. Uh, live oaks, a couple of them. It's very nice here. Um, now, some of the other trees that I know are, you know, they were not blooming when I was here in December. The live oaks were naturally, they, they had, they have leaves on them all the time. They change their hue, but there's, there's trees out there that are kind of, a, I don't know if you can see them from here. They are a lighter colored green. See them off to the south there. I don't know what kind of trees those are. I may, you know, I've got this identifier thing on my phone, but they want money for it. But Lily was telling me there's at least a couple apps that you can get. They don't, they don't, they don't want any money, but they will take a picture of it. And it's like a Wikipedia on your phone for plants. 16 Orleans up to three a day. Wow. Oh, man. That's, to me, that seems like a lot. Oxyacetophetamine combo. Only had to take three. Wow. Fentanyl and everything now. Yeah. You're right, George Ann. And that's, I guess, the drug cartels that do that. To, to make the cocaine and whatever else go further? Or is that... Um, is that something that's more like for meth? I, I don't know. I know extremely little about drugs. The scourge. <laughs> they gave you fentanyl? Wow. I don't know. My favorite drug, however, 
This, is a, this gives you reason to look forward to your colonoscopies. They use a drug called Verset. I'll tell you what, it's, you're pretty mellow. <laughs> and street drugs, okay. I I didn't know. I didn't know if it was coming across the border that way or if it's being used to stretch what comes across the border further or if it's just for the meth that they're making in trailer houses or whatever. I sure don't see the attraction. Test strips for fentanyl. Some, some like their drug, drugs unspiked. I would I have to say that's a good idea. <coughs> oh, good. You got your staples out on Monday. Cool, Sonia with the J. <laughs> Why is this? Oh, I got to move my mouse. There we go. Sue is here. Welcome aboard. The unstapling. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at this. We're going to have the unboxing. Sonia with Jay is going to have the unstapling. <laughs> Kobe's here. Room checks. Good. So no hanky panking going on? Wait a minute. It's Tuesday. They're allowed on Tuesday for another half hour. Jim Foster, thank you. Um, Kobe, you had to rush Rocky off the other night. I forget what live stream we were in, but you had to take off in a hurry, and I did not hear anything back. So what happened? Everything okay? Kick out process. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, we want to know how Rocky's doing. I may have to step away and get more water here in a minute. Been drinking a lot. Water. Well, and uh, sweet tea. I missed something. Margie and Jeff are here. Welcome aboard. There you are. Thank you, Margie. <laughs> yeah, everybody seems to like this hat. I do, too. I, I really do. You walk both levels of the mall. It was a workout. Yeah, I bet. You know, uh, there was a premiere yesterday or last night um, Tommy Travels he went to the Mall of America what is that that's in Minneapolis St. Paul I think that's not far from where he lives but he went to a, a real crazy off the wall I don't know place inside the mall no, I can't remember what it was called, but it was pretty amazing with all the lights and infinity, and it's like a arts, you know, light sculpture, if you will. But I mean, interactive, and you you walked in it. Well, good thing we still have malls. You know, some places they are passe. They had malls, and now they don't have them. You know, I always thought it was rather a shame. Um, and maybe this is why some of the malls have disappeared, because they were perhaps got in trouble for false advertising. You know, some of us, you know, we'd say, a strip mall? Really? And we'd go there, and there would be nothing. There was no strippers, no, no nightclubs, no nothing, nothing at all. So it was kind of disappointing. <laughs> In our youth, 
<laughs> you watch the premier second largest mall called the American Dream Mall. Went there and didn't even cover a third of it. It's huge. Wow. So I'm the second largest. Okay, so the one in Minneapolis, Mall of America, that's still the biggest one. And you've got the second biggest. Nothing but a few stories in a row. Yeah, the strip mall. <laughs> and Jim's going, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. I thought it was one of my better ones. <laughs> well, not really. It's an oldie. Uh, um, so tomorrow night, uh, we're still on the letter P, and uh, believe it or not, I know where, I think the box is right there on the end. <laughs> I need to still do more organizing and downsizing. I got rid of quite a bit of stuff when I was in town at Lily's. Um, I've got more to go. The front seat's got a lot of stuff in it that don't need to be there and probably doesn't need to be anywhere but in a dumpster. Or donate it if it's halfway decent. Or at least there are still some cubby holes. There's still some uh, space on the truck bed proper, you open up a little door on the camper, and sure enough, you see the inside of the truck bed, and you can cram stuff in there. Now, on the back one, I've got, you know, the uh, uh, boy, that makes me wonder. I better double check, make sure my hydraulic jack is in the back there. But I've got, you know, tools for. You know, break down alongside the road or whatever. Those were are more handy. And then, okay, I know where my hydraulic is. It's behind the behind the front seat of the truck. The other truck I had it in a different spot, so I had to think. But yeah, there's a few things in the back here, jack stands, that kind of stuff. Um. The one way up on the passenger side front, there's nothing in there. And of course, to get to it, I've got to remove everything that's under the bed. <laughs> so it's a process. Uh, Lily calls it Tetris. <laughs> you move stuff around, you move it back, and you put it where it fits. So. I didn't come in with any real good jokes. Just the song, Salty Dog, and I don't know. <laughs> but seriously, the thumbnail, Jill found that drinking fountain somewhere. I don't know where. The rooster that draws pictures of poop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Those ought to be good. Speaking of roosters, I'm not missing those damn roosters in town. <laughs> no roosters out here. It's quiet. Traffic noise, fine. And that, you know, by 10 o'clock at night, you don't hear it. Um, now and then, the cows braying because they're lost. <laughs> no, seriously, two nights ago, there was a... A cow. I think he was lost. He, he couldn't find the rest of them. The cock will doodle do. <laughs> doodle do. I get it. A doodling do. Yeah. Doo doo. Oh, man. That's cute. That is really cute. <laughs> I like that. You can tell that one in church. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did the, 
Did the phone go dead yet? No, it didn't. It wants to. Five percent. Nothing important. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. And I haven't done a darn thing. I've just been lazing around camp all day long. I haven't done anything. <laughs> but it's been relaxing. I guess sometimes you just got to not do anything. It's really not like me, you crazy fly. It's really not like me to not do something. Um, I almost decided I could do dishes today. I've got like two that technically have not been washed. They're sealed in a bag, so they're not getting bugs or anything, but they need to be washed. Well, I wasn't where I could wash them in the last week, basically. I mean, I could. But I, didn't, I just didn't feel right about it. But here, I didn't know it until yesterday, there's a sink. Around the other side of the bathhouse, there's an outdoor sink for washing dishes. Well, guess what? I better take advantage of it while I'm here. That's one thing that I really like about this campground. It's got great showers. Uh, it's clean. Um, no complaints. It's, you know, and for boondocking, it's $10 a night. Like I said, I might spoil myself and do electricity for one night. That's $25 a night. But, you know, I, we'll wait and see. I'm, I'm doing okay. As long as I can keep the computer and the phone charged up, I've only got one outlet in the truck right now. For some reason, that, that the one that was two outlets plugged into the cigarette lighter, that doesn't seem to be working anymore. So I've got this newer one, but it only has one outlet. Well, then I just said, make sure, excuse me, that I start the truck every now and then, which hasn't been a problem. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Hi, how you doing? You alive? Yeah. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you alive, too? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Troy, welcome aboard. You're right, Jim, it was the phone. Am I live now? Yeah, yes, you're live. Why, hello, everybody. This is Holly by Golly, and... Uh, excuse me. That's so good. <laughs> I'm here with your Tuesday not-so-nice report. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, in skiing, there are a couple of words you need to remember. Slalom and shush. In slalom, it's a twisted, turny skiing down a steep slope. And a shush is where you go down and jump with the turn. Oh, yeah. There's there's one more to remember. That is schmo. Schmo? Yeah. That's the person that is attempting to do either the slalom or the shush. <laughs> 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 okay. But see, um, me, I would fall down and say, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's no oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, this guy, he was so shy. He really liked this girl. And every time he went to talk to her, his tongue got all tied up and his words got twisted. And one day, she asked him to go to a dance. And he just shook his head yes. So she went, he went. <laughs> so he, he went with his best friend. 
to his best friends for advice as to what to do because he was all tongue tied and stuff. And as they were advising him, she walked up and asked him what time he was going to pick her up. And he just scoffed his foot seven times <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> she understood it to be seven o'clock. She said, maybe you can dance better tonight. I see you're practicing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. Well, you know. What do you call, do you call a shoe store in Kentucky? I don't know. I can't stock trade. A mirage. A mirage. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. Um, well, my uncle is getting married soon and to his fourth wife. And his friend asked him, well, what happened to your other three? Well, I'll tell you, the first two died from poisonous mushrooms. What about the third? He asked. Oh, she died from a head wound. Yeah? Yeah, she wouldn't eat the mushrooms. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, you know, do you know where the first or the actual cabin that they used on the Beverly Hillbillies, the first shows that showed them where they lived in the hills in this old cabin? Do you know where that cab where that cabin is? No. Branson, Missouri. Where? Branson, Missouri. Really? Yeah. I drove through Manson before. Yeah, I didn't think it was real. I thought it was just a stage thing, but no, they actually filmed a real, real, you know, cabin up uh, in the cabin up in the hills, and it's in Branson, Missouri. Okay. What kind of herpes would you get from Clark Kent? Um, I don't know. Superman too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Ahoy, Timmy. Ahoy, Kevin. Welcome aboard. <laughs> okay. You know what? I asked Alexa the definition of the word foreman, right? I asked her what it was. And you know what Alexa come back and said? What? What each of the Kardashians go through in one year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cute. <laughs> My Uncle Jerry and my Aunt Jules were married for 40 years. And on their 40th anniversary, they decided to go back to the same hotel and get the same room. So they did. Then once they got in the room, um, my aunt asked Jerry, Uncle Jerry, what do you remember the first thing you, or do you remember the first thing you did? Any, any kisses there? on the lips. So then my aunt asked Uncle Jerry, what do you remember the next thing is the next thing you did? He said, or do you remember the next thing you did? He said, yes. She said, yeah, what's that? I nibbled on your ear. <laughs> so I did. Then she asked Jerry, do you remember the next thing you did? And he said, yes, I bit your neck. She said, yeah, do that. He said, wait a minute, I have to go get my teeth. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was pretty cute. Okay, let me see here. <laughs> You're supposed to practice yeah. these. <laughs> okay well there's this old guy 94 years old right and he and he goes to the doctor because he's wheezing and breathing funny and the doctor asked him how old he was and the guy said well i'm 92 and the doctor asked him what he could help him with that day and the guy says well I need to get my sex drive lowered. 
And the doctor said, oh, well, at your age, you don't have any sex drive, drive down there. It's all in your head. And the old guy said, I know. That's why I need it lowered. <laughs> <laughs> the same old guy goes to the doctor again. And the doctor asked him what he could do for him this time. And the guy said, well, I get up several times in the night to use the restroom. And the doctor said, well, that's to be expected at your age. And the guy said, it's not so bad, though. Every time I go, God turns the light on. And when I'm done, he turns the light off for me. <laughs> oh, excuse me, that felt good. <laughs> then um, the doctor was kind of flabbergasted. So he goes out and he get, gets his wife and tells her what the guy said that he goes in the night and God turns the light on and off for him. And she said, oh God, you've been peeing in the fridge again? <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, that is my weekly not-so-nice report for you. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the few minutes that I was on. I'm sorry it wasn't longer, but my sleeping schedule is way off and my back is still really immensely sore. I, please forgive me. It's supposed to start feeling better after a week, so they got I got two more days, and if it ain't feeling better, I'm calling it a doctor. Well, <laughs> come on. You got It's an average. Anyway, oh, Excuse me. That felt good. Love you all. Peace out. All right. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. I love you. Talk yep. to you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> okay. A uh, couple of them were kind of okay. <laughs> oh, there's Jax. What are you doing? <laughs> what? I've never seen him so perky. Are you chasing cows? Oh, that's not Jack's. That's a different dog. Hmm, not seen that one before. There's Jack's. He's black. And then there's a blonde dog. I don't know that one's name. But I know that Jack's and the blonde dog both belong to the owner here. Um, the guy that owns the campground. But this dog, I have no idea. Might be one of the. There are people that stay here year round as well. Yeah. I could chase a squirrel or something. Earlier today, I th thought it was Jack's chasing a squirrel up a tree, but I actually think it turned out to be a cat. <laughs> yeah, there's some kids over there. So. All right, who am I missing saying hello to? Troy? Ahoy, ahoy. I think I said hello to you when you came in. That was just as when Holly was calling. <laughs> so, uh, in case the rest of you didn't know, Troy is now part of the uh, Facebook group for the M24 group. <laughs> that I, there was something weird because I, you know, I was the one that actually approved your uh, admission, <laughs> Troy. <laughs> but I guess there's a delay on when it posts, and I didn't know that. I thought it would post right away. <laughs> well, I'm learning. I've never been an administrator before, but Kevin's teaching me. Okay trouble that you'd be taken care of. I hope we, we've been still waiting, Colby, to hear about Rocky because you had to rush off with him to the to the veterinarian or something the other night. <laughs> We're waiting on Colby now to update us. You just left because Holly came in? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you didn't do that. <laughs> oh, these silly bugs. Oh. 
definitely gonna have to plug this thing in it's at four percent and that's probably what it's telling me <laughs> yeah nothing nothing that I see I better double check oh I have like three places I have to check to make sure because all the beeps for everything sounds the same. So it could be, you know, a message or it could be email or it could be Facebook. So I have three different things I have to open to see. Rose said something about an introverted hippie. Oh, the TV guide. <laughs> Good one, Rose. He had a heat stroke, potentially poisoned by someone left the dog park or by someone while he was unsupervised. He's doing good now, but wow. Sheepers, that's scary. Counting down, yeah. Breathe, breathe, Colby. Breathe. <laughs> or you could count down and then beat the hell out of somebody that desperately needs it. <laughs> Wait, there's Millie. Millie and James, welcome aboard. Great to see you. We've had a few jokes tonight. I think one of the best Nancy had was about, uh, did we hear about the rooster that would draw pictures of poop? And so uh, he was known as the cock doodly do. Yes. Your theme song, y'all gonna make me lose my mind up here, up here. <laughs> Cute. Um, I'm I'm thinking you had some pretty nasty weather up there, Millie. I mean, then every now and then it pops up that they're chasing storms all over Oklahoma and Kansas and Nebraska and stuff like that. I hope everything's going okay for you up there. We had a little bit of it down here, not much. Um, the name chicken shit. <laughs> Good one, Kevin. <laughs> I love your thinking out of the box. <laughs> oh my. Um, yeah, we, uh, it was after the eclipse and the day after. And Lily and I ran up to a place called Babyhead Mountain. Uh, Babyhead Cemetery specifically is where we went to do some uh, photo shoots of the blue bonnets and other wildflowers that are blooming right now. And uh, that night, there was storm. There was a tornado reported right there where we were. And we never did hear if there was any damage or anything like that, but they, they sighted a tornado right there where we had been just hours before. So that was kind of interesting. But that night there was storms all over Texas, mostly to the uh, east of where where I'm at, near where I'm at, Alano, Texas. So, all right. <clears throat> One day at a time, yep. And then, Kobe, you gotta remember Sonia with a J, she gets her staples out Monday. So she'd be unstapled and unscrupulous. <laughs> Wait, unstapulous. I don't know. <laughs> Several large tornado producing storms in Iowa right now, okay. Yeah, I did see something, Ryan, Ryan Hall, y'all. 
I think he had something he was going to go live. And there are a couple other storm channels as well. So I find some of it fascinating. But then after a while, I was like, well, it's not here. I've got other things to do. Um, unstapulous. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to come up with that word, Sonia. <laughs> Thank you. You probably had a pen where you could write down a few examples. <laughs> um, now, I didn't see a guy ride a bicycle up there, but he's coming down with one. They must be camped further back. Because I'm kind of like the only person. Well, there's one camper about 200 feet away from me. I haven't met her. She's been here longer than me, but you know, for the most part, the campers are way far away. We're, we're definitely spread out here. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I'm tempted to buy a bicycle and carry it with me. Might be the solution to... Uh, Having a campsite and going to work. Don't know. It's just a thought. Margie was out for a bit. Fell of these doggone bugs. Smack! <laughs> oh. Something about sauerkraut just popped up. And that makes me hungry. I love sauerkraut. Yeah, I'm still in Texas, Margie. I'm uh, south of Llano, Texas, where I was for the eclipse. I'm just south of there, 10 miles at the Oxford Ranch, I'm back where I was uh, back in December. I'm going to be staying here for a few more days. And I, I, I think, gosh, where is this belching coming from? Excuse me very much. Lapping deck instrument diffusion of. Live through S1 in 22,000. Yeah, uh, uh, Holly just had a, a similar thing. Well, no, wasn't similar to what you had. I, I was reading this wrong, the fusion. She had, uh, damn it, I can't think how it's called. It's where they uh, burn the nerves. She just had that done a few days ago. Um, no vaccines or medications are required for Kenya. Just recommended. I see. That's a good note. Um, anyways, Margie, I'm going to stay here for a couple more days at least. I may extend that stay. It's supposed to be kind of shitty weekend. You know, it's going to be like 70s. I'll freeze. So I'm getting used to the 90s. I love 90s. Um, I want to go to uh, Roswell. Uh, San Angelo, Roswell. Uh, another place, what's the name of it? Croft. It's not far from Roswell. Uh, Croft. Crofton or Croft Cove. I, I can't remember the name of it. It sounds like a very fascinating area, museums and other things to, to see. Ablation, thank you, Diane. Kobe, you've been to Roswell, sounds like. Uh, Roswell sounds fun, too, despite the obvious, you know, they've got the, I don't know, they got alien spaceship things everywhere, but it's still, it's, you know, you could say it's a historical place is where all, all the actually kind of seem to have started, you know, the UFO craze, if you will, um, in some ways that means nothing, in other ways it means a lot, <laughs> so I like you, yeah, you know, not just because everybody has, just because 
I think it'd be fun. You know, I don't think it's too pricey. Anal probes a half price. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> I, I was hoping to get a, a deal on some mutilated beef. <laughs> Walmart. Yes, they do. I saw that. I saw that, Kobe. It was on uh, iOverlander. That's what part of what I was spending half of the afternoon. I was looking at the Atlas, and I'd go to iOverlander and trace my way up the different routes and kind of earmark where possible overnight stays. Yeah, Kobe, were you probed? <laughs> An interesting specimen. Yeah, they might beam me up. <laughs> Good one, Kobe. <laughs> Probed and he liked it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, Diane. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. All right. It is actually time for us to call it tonight. I'm going to have to plug this phone in. i got to plug the computer back in, too. It's down to about half. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we might be broadcasting from the cockpit of the truck. Or maybe I'll get a, some kind of an extension where I can sit outside of the truck and still broadcast. What do you call a tick on the moon? A lunatic. Or is that too obvious? <laughs> Sills laughing. <laughs> Poor Kobe. <laughs> well, I'm glad I caught on to one finally. Thank you, Jill. And thank you for being aboard. Thank you, all of you, for being aboard tonight. Takes one to know one. <laughs> Good one, Kevin. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, maybe same place. I don't know. But uh, remember P words for tomorrow. So we'll see you. And maybe we'll see you around on some live streams yet tonight. We'll see. In the meanwhile. Fair winds and smiles. Come on. You got it. And may God bless. Good night, Maze. Enjoy.